welcome for our present discussion for the subject accountancy we are passing by the accounting ratio chapter for class 12 and in my for the accounting ratio chapter today is the 16th episode 15 episodes already you have passed for the accounting ratio liquidity ratio there was current ratio liquid ratio few episodes discussed for that after that solvency ratio under solvency ratio there were four ratios debt equity ratio total assets to debt ratio proprietary ratio interest coverage ratio few episodes were discussed for those four types of the ratios next we have started the activity ratio or turnover ratio or performance ratio here also four types of ratios are there under activity ratio inventory turnover ratio trade receivables turnover ratio trade payables turnover ratio and working capital turnover ratio inventory turnover ratio i have discussed two three episodes were there and in the last episode that is in the 15th episode i have discussed regarding the trade receivables turnover ratio and one sum also i have done on the whiteboard and right now also i have taken one more sum for the trade receivables turnover ratio and just look here and try to understand with me one thing keep in mind whenever the trade receivables turnover ratio is asked or any question is given which is related with the trade receivables turnover ratio so we have to keep in mind the formula of trade receivables turnover ratio that's why i have written here trade receivables turnover ratio is equal to credit revenue from operation that is credit sales there is no question for the cash sales here no question for the total sales here because trade receivables that means trade receivable includes debtors and bills receivable so debtors and bills receivable bonds from the credit sales so there is a english proverb also for the accountancy the credit sale is the mother of debtors and bills receivable so credit sales is the mother of trade receivables also that's why credit sale is needed in the formula credit revenue from operation by average trade receivables now look the question where is the clue in the question credit revenue from operation that is as per formula credit revenue from operation is needed and that amount is also given in the question very fine trade receivables turnover ratio six times that is trade receivable turnover ratio ka answer nahi pucha gaya trade receivable turnover ratio diya hai aapko de diya gaya question mein six times so pucha kya trade receivables beginning of the year that is opening trade receivables beginning of the year means opening opening trade receivable given also 284000 and you are asked here to calculate trade receivables at the end of the year that means average trade receivables ka formula jo hum log jante hain ki average trade receivable is equal to opening trade receivables plus closing trade receivables by 2 to yahan pe humko opening trade receivables de diya gaya closing trade receivables nahi diya aur by 2 karna padega aur baki jo information diya hai on the basis of this uh, information i have to calculate the value of closing trade receivables so for the solution at first we have to write the formula solution trade receivables turnover ratio iska formula kya hai formula hai credit revenue from operation by average trade receivables 
it is the formula now trade receivables turnover ratio already given in the question six times it is not asked to calculate so iske jaga pe hum six times likhenge is equal to credit revenue from operation is also given in the question to me 17 lakhs 52000 the so 17 lakhs 52000 by average trade receivables average trade receivables just you prepare yourself this chapter is the intelligent chapter here is one object here is one object here is one object total three objects of any formula so out of three objects if two objects amount is given then another object will be calculated by cross multiplication so six means six by one average trade receivables is equal to the right hand side mein hai, niche, denominator hai, or left hand side mein numerator hai, six that is ye up mein hai, or ye down mein hai. So, kya hoga iska cross multiplication so average trade receivables into six multiply ho gaya, is equal to yahan pe numerator kya hai upar mein kya hai 17 lakh 52000 और लेफ्ट हैंड साइड का जो डिनोमिनेटर है वो जाके राइट हैंड साइड में आएगा तो राइट हैंड साइड का न्यूमिनेटर के साथ मल्टीप्लाई होगा तो 1 आके अगर 17 लाख 52000 से मल्टीप्लाई होगा तो क्या कितना होगा 17 लाख 52000 ही होगा एवरेज ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स इज इक्वल टू ये लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में 6 मल्टीप्लिकेशन वे में है तो राइट हैंड साइड में जाएगा तो क्या होगा डिवाइड हो जाएगा दैट इज 17 लाख 52000 बाय बाय 6 डिवाइड करना पड़ेगा 6 2 9 12 5 55 6 8 48 6 9 54 54 1 12 6 2 जो 12 0 0 0 2 लाख 92000 2,92,000 is the value of average trade receivables. Now you have to write average trade receivables. This is a formula. Hai. Opening trade receivable plus closing trade receivable by 2. It is the formula of average trade receivable we know. Average trade receivable already we have calculated 2,92,000. So that amount will be put here. 2,92,000 is equal to, I think, opening trade receivable given in the question. Opening trade receivable given in the question 2,84,000. So put it here, 284,000 plus closing trade receivable, I don't know, by 2. So they go here, only closing trade receivables nahi jante hain, aur baki sub amount hum ko mail gaya hai. So isko mathematical calculation, jo class 10 tak aap log mathematics kiye the, uske maadham se aap ko ye karna padega. ये 2 यहां पे नीचे है इधर आएगा तो मल्टीप्लाई होगा तो 292000 2 284000 प्लस क्लोजिंग ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स इसको मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो क्या होगा 000 22 4 9 2 18 8 carry 1 22415 is equal to 2,84,000 plus closing trade receivables. A plus A plus A plus A. Closing trade receivables का value निकालना है हम लोग को question में जो पूछा गया है. इसको इधर ही रखते हैं plus में रहेगा. 
तो टू लाख एट्टी फोर थाउजेंड को इधर लाएंगे तो क्या होगा ये प्लस है तो माइनस होगा तो फाइव लाख एट्टी फोर थाउजेंड माइनस टू लाख एट्टी फोर थाउजेंड इज इक्वल टू क्लोजिंग ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स हाउ मच टू लाख एट्टी फोर थाउजेंड फाइव लाख एट्टी फोर थाउजेंड तो माइनस करने से थ्री लैक्स थ्री लैक्स इज इक्वल टू क्लोजिंग ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स तो बात एक ही है क्लोजिंग ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स इधर रहेगा तो तीन लाख इधर आ जाएगा इसको अगर इधर लिखते पहले तो ये इस तरीके से कैलकुलेट होता तो आई मीन नॉट नेसेसरी दैट इन द क्वेश्चन ओनली फॉर्मूला रेशियो का जो नाम है वो रेशियो का नाम से ही क्वेश्चन पूछेगा कि कैलकुलेटेड रिसीवर स्टैंड ओवर रेशियो कैलकुलेट करेंट रेशियो कैलकुलेट लिक्विड रेशियो कैलकुलेट इन्वेंटरी टर्न ओवर रेशियो नॉट ऑलवेज दिस टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्क टू यू इन दिस यू हैव already seen that trade receivable turnover ratio six times it is given already in the question with the items of the formula of the trade receivable turnover ratio any uh, another item value is to be calculated that is also the, maybe the question so that type of the question i have done here one you look after properly you listen the video and uh, you do the essential sums from the books also thank you very much